Hi Scorpios and welcome back to my channel Aquarian Empress Tarot. For those of you who are new to my channel Scorpio, please do me a huge favor. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below as well as hit the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I have my newest uploads, which I have just been, I've been on it Scorpio. Also happy new years to you, my wonderful Scorpios. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing to the channel. Um, if you'd like to make a donation, because um, I've, I've, told, I've mentioned in other readings that I've done that for my birthday at the end of next month, I am trying to create a fundraiser for children who have cancer, okay? So you can donate to the channel and send it to my email, aquarianempresstarot at gmail.com, which I will have down in the description box below. Also, Scorpio, for those of you who are inquiring, the deck I'm using tonight is the Ink and Intuition. Favorite tattoo, tattoo tarot deck, okay? Um, jumping right in, Scorpio, are they the one is going to be the name of this, this tarot spread I'm doing for you. It's a part of my series I've been doing for all the other signs. Scorpio, you and Sagittarius are the last two signs I needed to do. You are last, but you are certainly not least. Okay. So spirit, please, please give me the messages I need to see for the sign of Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Scorpio, please do keep in mind we're dealing with energies. The reading may or may not resonate with every single Scorpio that watches the video. If it doesn't, feel free to go watch another YouTube tarot reader. There's plenty of them out there that are wonderful. Also, um, please check your natal chart, Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. As that, does, that does play a factor, okay? But please give me a comment and let me know if it resonates for you. Spirit, what's hot about Scorpio's person? Tell us what's hot about Scorpio's person. Ooh, Scorpio. Ooh. Okay, what's hot about your person? We have the hermit. <laughs> the hermit. I feel like with the hermit, this person is, um, they're a humble person, Scorpio. That's what you really love about them. This person is, if they do something that is offensive, that, you know, that bothers you, this person is mature enough to apologize and say, I'm sorry. And you really love that about them. Also, this person is just, they have a very, um, an analytical mind. They take their time. They don't rush into things. They think things through. They really, they're not a rash person, I feel. You could be dealing with a Virgo. It's very possible. But we'll clarify that in a second, okay? What's not so hot about Scorpio's person? Spirit. What's not so hot? What's not so hot? What's not so hot? What's not so hot? There we go. I was like, come on, spirit. Y'all were just talking a minute ago. Page of swords. Page of swords. This person is always asking you a bunch of questions. And it kind of gets on your nerves, Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpios don't like for people to be nosy. You feel like sometimes they're a little bit too nosy. That's what I feel. Because the, the knave of swords is a page of swords. And page of swords energy is always curious mental energy. They got a whole bunch of questions all the time. Well, why is this? Or where were you here? And who was that? And uh-uh. Mm -mm. Okay, Scorpio. <laughs> it's not necessarily, you know, like a bad type of thing, you know, or they're constantly watching what you're doing on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever. They're watching your posts. They're questioning you about it. You know, why were you wearing that? Like, bruh, mm -mm. don't do it. I get it, Scorpio. That's what's not so hot about them. But I'm going to clarify that with spirit just to make sure we're on the same page. So how does Scorpio emotionally connect to their person? How do they emotionally connect to their person? Okay. You have Ten of Cups. You, you and your person both have this in common, Scorpio, that you both want peace. You see that peace symbol behind the Ten of Cups? And this is like the end-all, be-all. So this is really beautiful energy. Like you want 
you both want stability. You both want someone that you can trust. You both want a lasting committed relationship with someone that you really love and you have a lot of it's 10 cups here you have a lot of emotion for this person okay what is physically attractive about scorpio's person spirit whoa too many too many let's see what is physically attractive about scorpio's person Your person could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Honestly, uh, with the two of coins or the two of pentacles, this person is, um, they're trying to balance things out. See the scales right there? Yeah, they're definitely trying to balance things out. But also, I feel like um, their personality is like, they, they know how to they know they're the kind of person that's kind of like a chameleon is the only way I can describe it. Like they know how to adapt to whatever environment they're in. And that's what you really like about them. But that's a very, that's a, a very attractive quality that you find um, with them. You know, like whatever situation you guys are in socially, this person can adapt. They, they know how to juggle. They know how to balance because two of coins is, of course, about juggling and balancing things out. But that's what that's what connects you to physically. That um the person seems he's he or she seems very balanced. What about spiritually? How do they connect spiritually? Spirit. Spiritually. Scorpio, I promised myself that I would not make this read very, very long. Because some of my readings have been like 13, 14 minutes. And I'm like, bruh, like we need to cut this short. Whoa. Okay, hang on. Okay, spirit. What y'all want me to say? Spiritually, how you two connect is the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups. And the Nine of Cups, I absolutely adore this card. I don't know why. It's just adorable to me, y'all. Um, I feel like this spiritually, you both you both desire um, to be able to express how you feel with the Nine of Cups energy here. Like, you both are on the same level emotionally and spiritually, I feel, too. Like, you both um, under, have a deep understanding of love because this is, this is a mature person, Nine of Cups. He's not on the same level as a king, but he's he's mature. He's he's damn sure not a page. And that's a good thing. You know? This person is respectful, chivalrous. Scorpio, you have a, a really a person with a beautiful spirit here. Spiritually, intellectually, how do they connect? This person has a really beautiful spirit. They're humble. They want the same, they have the same goals as you. This person could annoy you a little bit, Scorpio, because you could be dealing with an air sign, but the person just wants to ask a lot of questions. They want to really get to know you better. And sometimes you feel like they're asking too many damn questions. But, I mean, if you feel that way, Scorpio, just tell them, like, mm, no, you're asking too much. Uh, yeah, I just don't feel comfortable. I just don't feel comfortable telling you all that. You just got to speak up sometimes. Let somebody know. Most of Scorpios, well, most Scorpios I know are very quiet. Very quiet. Scorpios are very quiet. You know, unless they're in like around people that they really like. Um, intellectually, we have the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Woo woo. Um, intellectually, you both maybe have made some investments. You guys can talk about that. You could be um very successful in your career for sure. Because the King of Pentacles, he's on his game. He's on his A game, Scorpio. So um mutually, this is a mutual energy between you two. You both are successful at what you do in your careers as far as finances. You guys can discuss different things, how to grow, how to be more successful. That's really beautiful because you're both on the same page financially and very abundant in your material world. So that's good. That's good in wealth, you know, and structure. So that's that's great intellectually. Um, we were going to clarify what was hot about your person. 
having the hermit card here. All right, so let's do it. Let's do it. There's nothing to it but to do it. Hang on, Scorpio. I'm with you. Okay. Gotta get my little rider weight, y'all. Y'all know, y'all know I love my rider weight because this little bitty deck fits in my hands. Y'all see this, right? This little deck is so powerful. It, whatever question I ask spirit, it usually like 99.999% of the time gives me the answer spot on. I, now, all these are the decks that I have. I have like six decks. This, this little deck right here, which was one of my first decks that I got off Amazon. Mm. I don't know. I just, it's a connection. Spirit, why is the hermit here? For what's hot about Scorpio's person? Why is the hermit here? What? Yep, Scorpio, like I said, this person is mature. And you guys both have the same goals. I feel that. I felt that energy here with the Ten of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. This is Earth energy. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo, like I said, with the hermit card here. This person is very logical, they're very practical. Um, they like to put a lot of effort into what they do and they really like the best. Um, and they want to give you the best. They definitely want to come in with the Knight of Pentacles. You see that? That clarified the Hermit card that we got for what's hot about this person. They want to come in and bring you a solid, stable offer. And also with the King of Coins, King, King of Pentacles, they're able to do so. They got their ish together, Scorpio. Isn't that wonderful? That's y'all. Tell me more spirit. Why the hermit? Whoops. Yeah. This person definitely has, um, we got two, so I'm going to take them. We have the, um, the seven of cups, which is about choices. This person has made a choice to make you an offer, Scorpio. Your person is choosing to make you a solid, stable, committed offer. Because why? Of the ace of pentacles. It's a lot of pentacles here, Scorpio. I don't know who you're dealing with, but they got the bag. Ace Pentacles, um, they definitely see a new beginning with you, a new opportunity with you. They see abundance, they see growth with you, they see stability. That's beautiful. Scorpio, that is absolutely beautiful. Who are you manifesting? I would like to be a Scorpio. Can we, can my moon and Scorpio come out, please? Okay, Navel Swords. Why the Navel Swords spirit for what's not so hot? Hmm. Like I said, this person has fears subconsciously. They fear like maybe you're hiding something from them, which is why sometimes what's not so cool about them is that they are nosy as fuck. And they keep asking you a bunch of damn questions and you're like, bruh, I've told you everything that you needed to know. There's nothing else to say. Because the moon is all about hidden things. It's about secrets, right? Illusions. This person, I don't know. That's why that's there. If that, if, that good, if that is clear enough for you, a clear enough message for you, Scorpio, from spirit. <laughs> this is a, But this is minor, though. You know, you can, yeah, you can deal with that, right? This person asking you questions sometimes. It's not all the time. Plus, the reason I ask spirit the questions the way that I do, what's hot, what's not, is because in every relationship, you have aspects of each person's personality and character that's just, un, just unattractive. It's like, damn, why you always got to leave the toilet lit up? Why can't you put it down? Why you got to leave dishes in the seat? Why can't you just wash the dishes you ate out of and put it in the damn dish drain? Why, look, it's simple, right? Just make it simple. But no, like every relationship, there's going to be things about your person that aggravates you, annoys you, pisses you off, whatever you want to call it, because they're human. You're human. So keep in mind, just like, that some of the little nuances about them eat at you they probably feel the same way okay but really be honestly scorpio this person i feel like this is a really good person for you whoever this is all right so let's ask spirit one more question and get some love messages for you so what is what is the, the question spirit that scorpio needs to ask themselves in regard to this person right could they be the one, Scorpio? Are they the one? Are they the one? Are they the one? Reminds me of a song. 
Are you the one? Um, let's see what spirit has to say. What's what questions? Is, ooh. Justice. Justice. Scorpio. What spirit? The question that you're gonna have to ask yourself that spirit wants you to ask yourself is. Is this relationship equal give and take here? Is there reciprocity in this relationship? Are you getting, are you receiving? I'm saying this wrong. Equal give and balance. The relationship is a balance. Does the good outweigh the bad? That's what you need to ask yourself. Because this definitely could be your soulmate and I feel that energy here with the Ten of Cups here. Definitely. All right, so let's get some love messages from Spirit real quick. From our love angels. Scorpios. You see about it, right? Scorpios, I have reorganized my table, my decks. Y'all, I'm trying to do better going into the new year. Making the table look prettier. All that kind of stuff, okay? So I'm actually being organized today. I cleaned my table off. I moved candles. I got a whole new thing on here. A whole new spread up here. I might get a new one too just change stuff up a little bit you know new is always change is actually a good thing it really is people be afraid of change but change is good it's for the better right we don't want to be stuck in 2019 so going into a new year it's gonna be better scorpio i feel this for you new beginning that's beautiful it says a new adventure awaits it waits Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. That's your message from Spirit. What else, Spirit? Do you have to say, Scorpio? It says, When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So create good memories with this person because this could be your soulmate, Scorpio. I feel like this could be your soulmate. I was telling you guys this, right? I don't make this stuff up. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So no matter what happens, be true to yourself, Scorpio. Know what you deserve. You deserve the best, okay? Keep that in mind. This person, you have to ask yourself. The tarot gives us guidance and insight, but you have to ask yourself if this person could possibly be your life partner. Well, Scorpio, that's been your Are They the One tarot reading for the month of January. Thank you so much for watching.